Hey there, my fellow designers and creatives. Hope you're all doing well. This is Chetan here from Design Palette, and welcome to part two of my series on the basics of information architecture and typography in UI design. In the first part, you kind of understood the basics of information architecture, and in this part, which is the second part, we're going to take a look at actually redesigning a couple of screens and my approach of designing interfaces. So, without any further ado, let's get started. Okay guys, so now we can actually start, you know, um, redesigning it and obviously all you guys have to do is just sit back and kind of understand the way I think and the way I approach designing an interface. Now these are a couple of interfaces that were shared to me and I will be redesigning this. Um, so yeah, so this was a screenshot that I, that I got and I just redesigned it to make sure, I mean not redesigned, recreated it so I could edit this. So um, let's get started. So I'm going to just duplicate this screen. Um, you can hold down alter option and drag that out. Uh, I'm going to take the rest of the screens and just move them over to the side because uh, I don't need that at the moment. Okay, another thing is I'm just going to go ahead and grab my text styles and move that over here so you know I have some good context. Maybe just reduce this down to like 50 pixels. Okay, now the top part is fine. It looks like he's taken that, uh, you know, the top navigation bar from the UI kit and that's fine. So I'm gonna leave it, at this, leave it as it is. But the one thing I'm gonna, you know, redesign is this part. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is you wanna make sure that the left and right margins are 16 pixels, all right? And in this case, it is 16 pixels, which is pretty good, okay? Then the next thing is we have this text. Um, another thing is the rounding of the corners. They seem to be eight pixels, which is fine. Now you can actually go for any number you want, but I usually prefer to stick below 12. I think 12 makes it look much cleaner and neater. Um, so that is something that uh, you know you can think about. So the next thing is we have the actual coat. Uh, and basically, I mean, let me explain what this app is about. This app is um, is a list of quotes uh, of by people, I guess, and you can copy that and share it on, I don't know, with, uh, you know, as a message or on Instagram or WhatsApp or whatever. So this is actually 16 pixels, which he had designed. So that's pretty good. Now, the reason I'm saying it's good is because we had decided that that body, which is our primary text is going to be 16 pixels. Now the subtext is 14 pixels, all right? Now subtext in this case is the name of the author and that is also 14 pixels, so that is perfect. Because if you look at it, this is the most important information, that is the actual quote and who wrote it is the secondary information. So one small thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and remove this sort of, um, you, know, um, you know, those dashes and I will also not make it italic, I will make it, uh, you know, normal, I will say regular. And one thing I would like to do is, I mean, I never work with Roboto because it's not really a beautiful looking font. So go for any other font. I like rounded fonts. So I'm gonna use a font called Averta. Um, that's a paid font, but you can still have it. I'm gonna do that same thing over here. So change that to Averta. Okay, pretty good. Now, another thing is things feel very compact over here. So I'm gonna space them out quite well. Um, so for now, I'm just gonna move the copy and the share, uh, you know, outside. And here we have this text, okay. Now, if you look at the spacing, um, it's seven pixels from the top, eight on the left and eight on the right. And you know, uh, we have 74 at the bottom, but that's okay. Ideally, you would want to use, you ideally you want to lay out things in such a way that there's good breathing room. Um, so I would always suggest to increase it until you feel it's not so compact. So what I'm going to do is, I'm gonna move Jack Smith outside. And I'm gonna like kind of move it a little bit where I wanna keep it 16 pixels from the left, 16 pixels from the top. And also um, I can, you know, have it 16 pixels uh, from the right, okay? So if you see it's 16 pixels on all sides, which is great. Now, another thing that I could actually do is in this, I, I can make the body 18 because it would be nice to have this quite big and bold. So let me see if 18 is good. And I think 18 is a pretty good, it's quite big, which is excellent. Um, and I'm just gonna go ahead and, uh, you know, kind of uh, make sure that it fits on that one single line. There we go, that's pretty good. Now this, we can keep it 16 or we can keep it 14. It's the secondary text. Um, this is a personal preference. I think 14 is pretty good because it's not really important. And also I'm gonna move it to make sure that it is 16 pixels from the left. And also, um, I'm, I'm, so I'm using multiples of four over here because uh, it's a good practice to use multiples of four. Uh, try never to use odd numbers. There's nothing wrong 
but even using even numbers is i would say an industry standard all right so this is 14 i want to make it quite closer uh but not so close so i think eight is a good number so you know this is what we have and then we can increase this because we want to add in these two buttons now looking at these two buttons it kind of makes you feel that copy is a primary action and share is a secondary action. But ideally, I think in this case, none of these are primary or secondary actions. Both of them have equal actions because the objective of this screen or app is to actually look at all of the individual quotes that are there. Um, so one thing I would do is I would actually get rid of, uh, oops, get rid of that. And we just have the copy and the share, right? Now, how do we put it? How do we place it? A couple of ways, there are you know a few ideas. Um, one thing you could do is maybe let's say to have a line, some sort of a divider. Um, so I'm, I'm just gonna go ahead and create a line of sorts. Uh, make sure that it is again 16 and we can probably um, set the fill color to white and reduce the opacity to 12. 12 is a number that's used by material design and also make sure that the padding is you know somewhat similar. I think 16 pixels looks good. Uh, 16 pixels spacing from the name of the author. You can also have something that says by Jack Smith, maybe, I'm not quite sure. Uh, I'm gonna change the font of these two because we don't want them to be Avert, uh, Roboto. Just gonna change that to Averta. All right, looking good. And we can go ahead and then just place it over here. Or uh, let's actually group these two and then we can place these two over here. All right, and maybe I think eight feels a little too close. So maybe I want to set that to um, 12. I think 12 is a pretty good number. It gives a good amount of space um, and also maybe 12 at the bottom so I can reduce the height by two pixels. All right, uh, so pretty good. Now we want to space this out a li little bit. All right, so we want to give equal space to share and copy. So maybe we can set this to uh, 48. All right, or maybe let's set it to 64 actually. And you know we can center it, so you know it looks it looks quite nice. Um, another iteration I would say is you could select this whole thing and bring this down. Um, let's make it sixteen. Uh, one thing we could do is let's say we ungroup these. We can put this into its own container. So let's create a rectangle of sort. Okay, and uh, what we can do is maybe give it a rounding of eight. Uh, or maybe even four, uh, let, let's go to eight. I think eight or six should be fine. And uh, make this white and maybe reduce the opacity to like 10%, okay? Um, and we want to take the copy and we want to go right click, bring to front because we want this to be behind and we can just select these two and center it. Um, we can do the same thing for share. So we can select this, make a copy by holding down alt and put the share over there and kind of, you know, take these two so we can kind of group these two and group these two and we can group these two as well. So maybe have a, a 24 pixel spacing, uh, group them and then move that to the center. Maybe this could be another iteration or what you could also do is when somebody taps on the word copy, uh, let's, let's make a duplicate. Let me just to explain what I'm trying to do. And I think here, what we have to do is probably increase the spacing of this because it feels very close. Um, and maybe you want to keep it 12 as we had done in the above case and do the same thing over here um, so yeah so 12 I think this looks pretty good so basically another idea I was saying is if let's say we duplicated this um, and you want to make you want to have like a nice grid so 16 on the left 16 on the bottom and 16 on the top um, what we can do is let's say when somebody taps on copy we get this kind of a ripple you know, like a border uh, or this background that shows that it's it's copied um, and that would be pretty good. So, I mean, if you quite, if you kind of see the difference, there is a lot of difference um, there, um, you know, between uh, the first one and the second one, all right? Um, and as you can see, I just followed the same structure. In this case, yes, I did make the body eight, 18, but you could obviously make it 16 and it wouldn't be a problem, all right? But stick, find one and stick to one. So for this, I would say I went with 18, uh, as a body and there was no title over here so we can get rid of that and there was and I almost forgot for the tertiary text which is 12 we could have this to be 12 uh, right now it is 10 so I could select all these and uh, make it 12 all right um, yeah and, the, and that's looking pretty good yeah uh, yeah I think I like this cool uh, let's move to the next one which is this one this is the actual you know 
quote. Um, great. So the first thing I would do is let me just make a duplicate of this. All right. Um, so again, let's change the font of all this. Um, we can make this a Verta. Okay. Uh, move this a little bit to the top and we know we can take Jack Smith and uh, okay, we can have these kind of borders. So that's fine. Cool. Now, the first thing is when you're reading a quote, it's actually quite weird to actually have, you know, read in this fashion uh, where everything is center aligned because there is sort of a reading pattern. And when you have these large blocks of text, the best way is to actually left align it because it becomes a little easier to read. The second thing is, um, since this is the only content on the screen, I think we have an opportunity to blow up the size um, because in this case, what we did was actually um, you know, made it 18, but uh, we could have made the 16. But in this case, I would highly recommend having it to be 18 pixels because, you know, it's big, maybe even 20 if that works. Um, and when you have such long text, it's a good uh, idea to have, um, you know, um, letter spacing or leading as we call, which ranges from 120% to 150%. So I'm just going to type in 150% and that kind of spaces things out. Maybe if it's too much, maybe we could reduce that down to 140%. That's a good typography uh, tip if you guys want. Uh, and I'm going to just select these two, group them and move them down for now. Um, also, I feel that this is quite um, restraining, but I guess it's a aesthetic effect. So I'm just going to leave it. Uh, but what we want is to make sure that it is you know, like 16 pixels from the top. Um, in this case, we can maybe even keep it 20. There's nothing wrong in having more distance. And uh, since, um, you know, it, the thing is, if we move, if we keep it 16, it feels it's too close to the border. Uh, it feels very close. So what we can do is maybe we can increase this to 24. Uh, that's a good number. And maybe even have it 24 from the top. All right. And also from the left, we can have it to be 24. All right, there we go. And again, at the bottom, uh, we would want to have it to be 24. So try to keep things symmetrical. There we go. Great. Um, now, maybe obviously we need to add the name of the author as well. So what I can do is I can, I think I can just say by Jack Smith, that would be fine. Um, move this down, make sure it's aligned. And uh, let's, let's, let's try to keep it, I think 20 or maybe even, I think 20 is a good number. I think it gives a good visual distinction between the quote and the name of the person. All right, and we can close this up. So maybe such a 24. Perfect. Now, again, these icons are kind of taking a lot of attention because they're colorful and they're big. Um, and obviously we want to change these two to be, and never use odd numbers if you're using even numbers. If you're using odd numbers, try using odd numbers everywhere. Um, it kind of makes it look weird if you're using both odd or even. Uh, if you look at Apple's design guidelines, some of the sizes of the typography are 17 pixels and 13 and 21, which is totally fine, but that's a system that they follow. So keep that in mind. Now, since we're using even numbers, I will stick this to be even numbers. Um, so I'm gonna set this to 14 uh, and obviously change the font again. Okay. Um, now, ideally, I don't want to use these icons because there is so much space available and we can kind of optimally use it. So I would actually go ahead and grab these two, um, you know, and come over here and put these out over here. Um, all right. Uh, or maybe we could have two like big buttons at the bottom. So let's actually do that. What we can do is we can, we can bring this one that we created. All right. And let me just paste that over here. Um, so what we would want to do ideally is, let me just clean this up. So we want this to be from the left, okay? And uh, let's do a little bit of math over here. So what we want to do is uh, make sure that this is again, 16 pixels uh, from the bottom, right? Um, we can make the height a bit bigger, which is like 48, because we can make it quite big. We have the real estate or the room for that. All right, and ideally we want to have two sections. So I'm going to duplicate, I mean, uh, divide this by two. So divide it by two, okay? And I'm going to subtract minus eight from this, all right? And we get 163.5, I'm just going to round out that to 164. Um, and what we can do is I can just go ahead and then center these two. And then I'm going to duplicate this, just move this over to this side and, uh, you know, take this share and bring that over here. 
and you know just center that and we can delete this so now if you kind of look like you know the attention is going you know over here maybe another thing that we could do is you know maybe this maybe bring this or center it at least i think uh i think centering this might not be too good so maybe set it to 56 which is a multiple of four and eight again and i think this looks uh pretty good um the other thing that we could do is we could actually have the name of the person on top so instead of says attitude we could have the name of the author which which would be a good thing to do uh, let's say copy is the primary action what you can do is you can actually let's copy this linear color and paste it um, and you know maybe i'm going to reduce the make it up and i think this should be pretty good but the problem is you know we're not able to see the word copy so what i can do is maybe make these things a bit darker all right and let's let's make it quite dark so we can actually see and i think this looks this looks significantly better all right uh this is looking pretty good maybe we could want maybe we can kind of move this up right below but i think at the bottom it's, it's quite fine because it's easily accessible to the uh, user's fingers okay so that's pretty much it for part two of the series um in the next series in part three we're going to design another interface and i'm going to share a lot more insights with you thank you guys so much for watching hope you guys really enjoyed it if you did let me know in the comment section down below make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more amazing awesome content and i'll see you guys in the next video take care and bye bye